Hey guys, welcome to another Tuesday edition of the Vinyl Den, your channel for record collecting by record collectors. My name is Nick, and today I'm going to go over, looks like I got uh, six albums to talk about that are coming out this Friday the 6th. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you click on the link down below and go check out the Vinyl Den Facebook group. You know, it's just kind of a growing community. I want to say there's about 800 in there right now, so it's not really huge, but, uh, you know, it's a cool place where we kind of continue the music conversation. You know, it's not just about records. We talk about CDs and concerts and new albums that are coming out and all sorts of stuff going on, music-related. So just overall, it's just a really cool place to kind of hang out, talk music. But uh, also, there's a link down below for the Vinyl Den merch page if you want one of these cool T-shirts. There's also sweatshirts on there. There's also a link for the Vinyl Den Patreon page if you want to support the show. It's always greatly appreciated. You know, if you enjoyed the episode, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below and uh, hit that notification bell so you're notified every time we release new episodes. So like I said at the top, there's not a, a whole lot coming out this week, but uh, there is a couple of pretty good big uh, releases. The one that I talked about last week, which was the House of Pain uh, re reissue, that actually got pushed back a week. So it's actually coming out this Friday. You know, it's I, like I said last week, it's a little, it's priced a little too high for me. I probably won't get it. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'll put that in the maybe pile, but uh, the one that I'm sure that everyone out there has been dying for this week, this is the release of Release Me Too, you know, the new album from Barbara Streisand, which okay, it is coming out, but I'm sure, I'm sure there's probably no one out there, at least no one watching this video that really cares about that. Uh, I just thought it was kind of funny and I tossed it out there. If you are a Barbara Streisand fan, it is coming out this week. I know that uh, I haven't heard anyone talking about it, but uh, that's one that's going to be out, but no, the... the the first one I'm going to talk about, this is uh, Brian May, Back to the Light. Uh, you know, to be completely honest, I have never listened to any of Brian May's solo stuff. This is an album back, this is an album from 1992. It's uh, newly remastered. Um, you know, it's a little pricey. As far, I think it's just a single LP. And it's going to run you about 32 bucks online, so I'm sure it's going to be a couple of dollars more in store. Um you know, like I said, I, I haven't listened to any Brian May stuff, his solo work. Obviously, the great guitarist from Queen. Um, so I'll stream that one, but, um, you know, it's probably not one I'm going to end up picking up. The next one is one that, um, you know, I'll, even though it is a little kind of pricey, I'll probably pick up the 3 LP version. But this is the 50th anniversary release of All Things Must Pass by George Harrison. You know, I'm, I, I guess I'm not a huge Beatles fan, um, you know, but I, 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 I don't know. I do love a lot of their albums. I'm not a huge uh, fan of a lot of the Beatles solo work outside of a couple of John Lennon albums. But outside of those John Lennon albums, this is probably my favorite non-John Lennon album from any of the Beatles releases. Uh, this is George Harrison. Like I said, this is the 50th anniversary release. A couple of different packages are doing. There's a three LP release. It's going to run you about 64 bucks online. The five LP version is going to run you around 82. And then there's a, there's a, I'm sorry, there's a, well, there's an eight LP version. It's going to run you 171 online. I've seen it all the way up to $200 in stores. And then there's this big mega Uber box set. Comes with a whole bunch of stuff. I'll put a picture up of it. Uh, it's going to run you about 1200 bucks. So, I mean, it's kind of running the, the gambit. Uh, uh, at least a, a you know a wide range of uh, prices there to kind of fit whatever you want. Uh, like I said, the th I'll end up if I do end up picking it up, it will be the three LP version of it. You know, I'm, a lot of the bigger stuff, you know, the stuff that's including the five, the eight, and the Uber box set. You know, I'm not going to be really interested in a lot of those uh, other um, added pieces in there, outtakes and things like that. Uh, I think there's demos, outtakes. There's even like some studio jams on there. Um, just a bunch of goodies are included in all those boxes, but, uh, I I'm more interested in just the LP. So I'll probably just pick up that three LP version of it. The next one I got up, this is, um, push it salt and pepper. I actually didn't know a whole lot about this release. Uh, a couple of days ago I was down at, there's a record store called slick desk down, down in, uh, Trenton, Michigan. I was there buying some records. It's pretty cool. They do like a punch card system there. But anyway, uh, I didn't really know anything about this. Actually, they were talking about it in the store, but apparently this is a 12 inch single. It's got uh, push it. It's got a, uh, instrumental version of push it also. And then it also has shoop and what a man. So a couple of their bigger, 
uh, bigger singles from the 90s on there. So this has been kind of interesting. It's around about 25 bucks, which just seems like a lot for a 12-inch single. It's only going to have a couple of tracks on it. But it's kind of cool. It's a blue, white, and pink splatter, which I haven't seen a mock-up of it. I've just seen the, those colors listed. So it'd be kind of cool to see how that looks. But uh, for 25 bucks, if you're interested, it'd be a good pickup. The next one is one that I'm definitely interested in. You guys know I'm a big jazz fan. This is Sonny Clark, My Conception. This was actually recorded in 59, but according to my notes, it wasn't actually released until 79. This is part of the uh, Blue Note Tone Poet series. Uh, this is the only one I saw for this week. I know normally they release them um, in like pairs, but um, I didn't see any other Tone Poet stuff for this re- uh, for this week. So if I'm missing something, then drop me a comment and let me know for sure because you guys know I love these Tone Poet albums. They sound absolutely fantastic. So this one's going to run you about 27 bucks online, so maybe a couple of dollars more in store, but that would be definitely be a, a great one to pick up. So the last couple I got on the list, one I was interested in until I kind of saw the price tag, and the other one, well, I'll get to it in a second. But anyway, the, the first one, this is... Thin Lizzy, Greatest Hits. You know, I'm generally not a huge Greatest Hits fan, but uh, Thin Lizzy is one of those bands where, you know, I like enough their catalog, but not enough to really buy all their albums. So depending on what's included in it, you know, a Greatest Hits package would probably be a good pick for me. Um, but this is a double LP, and this thing's going to run you about 60 bucks, which is... Really kind of up there, you know, for me at least. I know I talked about it a couple of weeks ago when the Cranberries Greatest Hits was uh, came out and it was around the same kind of price tag. Um, you know, if it's more than like 35 to man, 38 bucks is probably about my top end that I'll pay for a, for a double LP. Um, you know, it, once you get up past that, it's kind of out of my price range, I think. Um, you know, it, when it's over 40 bucks, I think I'd rather just stream it or buy it on CD because I can pick up a CD for, you know, 12 or 15 bucks. So it's, uh, I, I, I tend to kind of go the other route when it's priced that high. So like I said, this would have been a good one for me, but uh, with that $60 price tag, especially if you buy it in store, it's going to be a couple dollars more. You kind of push in that, uh, 63 to $65 range. So. I don't know. The Thin Lazy one, like I said, it would have been a good one, but I decided I'll probably end up passing on that one. And then this last one, I, I've been a big, my, my kids were big fans and watched the movie Cars a lot when I when they were kids and when they were growing up. So I watched this movie a lot. It's got a, actually a really great soundtrack. So when I saw the soundtrack was coming out this weekend, I was actually kind of interested in it, especially since it's only going to be about 18 bucks online. But uh, then I saw it was a picture desk and, you know, I... When I first, as soon as I saw that, I was kind of out of it because picture discs, man, I know they're really kind of a mixed bag. Some of them sound absolutely fantastic. Other ones are definitely not so much. And since this is a soundtrack and I'm not really sure where or who's pressing it, um, so I'm not really sure how the quality is going to be. I'll definitely end up passing on that, especially since even though there's a couple of really great songs on it. I can kind of get it elsewhere. I can stream or get it on CD, whatever. But um, I don't know. Those were the, the at least the ones I was looking forward to this weekend. Well, that's all I got for you today, guys. Thanks for checking the show out. You know, I know I miss every every time I do one of these new release videos. I know I, I always mess up or uh, miss something that's coming out. You know, because I only look over a couple of different lists. I don't really scour through different bands and labels websites. So if there's something coming out this Friday that I didn't talk about today, make sure you drop me a comment down below and let me know. Um, Cause I'm always looking for cool and interesting stuff to pick up. So, or let me know if you guys are interested in any of this stuff, or if you are a big fan of that Barbara Streisand album and you want to give me grief for kind of knocking it a little bit, that's cool also. But if you enjoyed the episode, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below and uh, check out the show on Thursday. We got another one coming out uh, on Sunday. Well, that's all you got. Until next time, keep on spinning. Peace. <laughs>